What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is British Roads ain't got nothing on US Route 66. What just happened before this video? Uh, we recorded a video and we didn't press record. No, a 20 minute video we recorded and we didn't press record. Painful. Was painful, especially it, at 10 o'clock at night. Smash yeah. that like button, smash that subscribe button. We'd seriously appreciate it. The more you guys like uh, the video, the more the algorithm pushes it, I believe. So it would really help us if you drop that like button. Route 66 seems pretty cool. I like to go on it. I've never seen it properly, but I've always heard about it. I've seen like pictures of the stops. The, yeah, the odd like pictures and like stuff the, like that. Yeah, like the McDonald's and things. Is the McDonald's on Route 66? Yes, yeah, like all fancy. Oh wow, I never knew that. Yeah, it's, it's like a big fancy like house thing oh, okay i just know it's a super long road which mm. is i've like, got some stunning views yeah let us know more in the comments below we'd seriously appreciate it but i'm pretty sure lawrence is going to fill us in wait till after the video to check his channel out are you ready yeah let's get into it british roads ain't got nothing on us route 66 what we got Hello, I'm Lawrence Brown, America's finest British import, according to the Quincy Gazette. As an impressionable child, I firmly believed that my English hometown of Grimsby was the rugged centre of the universe. Not even the smell of <laughs> battered fish could convince me otherwise. Then, at 12, my life changed forever. It was then that I borrowed this book from my school's library, America, an aerial view. Overnight, my obsession grew with a country 3,000 miles to the left. No page went unturned as I enjoyed suggested colourful, expansive images of the 50 states, a memo that outlined the bits the movies left out. And eventually, I moved to that country, and page by page I've made that book my reality, just like the late fees. Here's my latest trek through the boundless landscape of the United States of America. Okay. Ooh. Has he gone down all of it? I'll rate it if he has. I want to know how long the drive actually is. I reckon it's days. It may tell us, but I want to know. Day. Oh, I reckon it could be days as well. Maybe a week. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Depends how much you drive for. No, I mean, if you're driving like solidly five, six hours a day, maybe seven hours. Do you know what I mean? Probably how long actually is it? Probably a week. It's Lincoln's hometown. By ten, and we left by ten forty. Well, but I didn't. I didn't take into account the time difference. True. There isn't time difference, is there? Not it's at all. all. on central. I thought you meant English time difference. <laughs> Cheers, Tower. It's a long drive, though, isn't it? Yeah, he's not even driving. <laughs> I feel like we're not actually going to need to um, go on this road trip now. Well, I well this might just be it. Illinois, do you think? Actually, I'm hoping he goes the whole way. It's not a bit of a whole drive. <laughs> That's the sound of peace, it's the sound of solitude. And I'm here off Route 66 in a forest preserve. And that's one of the beautiful things about traveling on a historic route like Route 66, is that you can just stop, stretch your legs, and look like an idiot in front of people while you film oh, wow. yourself in a public place. Nice. I haven't done this in a while. It must be awkward getting used to that. I don't think I could ever. Two geese over there mating. Nice. Hey, don't show that. <laughs> Don't show that. The circle so of life. Lost on route because a lot of maps don't include Route 66 six because, six because it's, it's historic I don't and know. actually still technically part of the interstate highway system. So we're having to sort of, you know, find out where it's been designated to be historic and rejoin it. But we're currently in someone's neighbourhood. It's fun, isn't it? I thought only Lawrence, only Lawrence gets lost on Route 66. Only. On that one road. Yeah. <laughs> Joliet? Okay. Oh, okay. That makes well, sense. Well, I just found something that we could have done with. It was a mass an hour ago. Do you think? I think so. 
Saving the planet, I like it. Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry. These music levels are so like because when I was in the park, I can see the levels in the car in my eye, and I'll just explain to you guys why I look over it so often. Because the music's so loud, and I can see that it's way louder than us, but then Lawrence is way quieter than us, and that's why I end up messing about with it because we record it all in one. So I do apologise. It's Lawrence's I, fault. I try not to focus on it, but that music looks so loud then, so I'm sorry. <laughs> So we just stopped off for a very quick Look, he's break quiet. Here in Wilmington, Illinois, where we have the cool very statue. famous mm. Gemini Giant, who is, he's here on Route 66. He's sort of a remnant of the 1960s interest in all things space, right? Okay. So a bit like the first man on the moon, Stretch Armstrong, <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. By all of the kitschy things that we think we're going to encounter, like, like that cow. Like that cow. What is it doing in the road? Oh, that cow. So yeah, I was on looking the at roof. The, the fake there's one. There's a cow on the roof. I was instead. looking at the one that this farmer was leading to water. What? <laughs> what? After a year of being in lockdown, it really is a relief to come to jail. Specifically, a two-cell jail here in Gardner, Illinois. Even though it's one of many quirky attractions off Route 66, the wife and I are nonetheless glad that we got a bed and breakfast. <laughs> bed and breakfast are always good. Maybe they are just doing Illinois. Potentially. Potentially. Well, this looks very, you know, typical Midwest America, doesn't it? All yeah. of the mall areas and that. The house shaped like a barn. In many ways, I can't wait to get out into the open road so you can just see Mother Nature and birds, flocks of birds I'm just going flying away. over yeah. Illinois into the sunset like us. I mean, we won't be flying, we will be driving. That's already been made clear. But you get my point. Bloomington. Isn't that um, like a, a fashion shop on like, I feel like I've heard that on Friends. Didn't Rachel work for Bloomington or something like that? No. She worked for Bloom... Mint. <laughs> no, Bloomsdale or something. Was it? Something like that. Let us know in the comments below. I swear that it was similar at least. Found a <laughs> Punk's grown. Okay. Hey. Lots of doors. She changed outfits. There's a whole house full of doors. Um, yeah, doors. but I suppose maybe we must have had a, a day. A day. Uh, no, she didn't. No, no, no. She changed outfits in the picture. Ah, in the picture, yeah. She no, it makes no. She did in the picture. Definitely thinking about it. I suppose, yeah, maybe they stopped off some mm. places. That was different days. One day, yeah. yeah. I think it was a shop. Oh right. Yeah. Good spot, Wait, <laughs> are you telling me a shop that sells doors? Correct. <laughs> How do you get in? It's too late. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Through a door. Yeah, I, I'm assuming. That's where I was correct. going with that. Okay, in honor. Oh yeah, still in Illinois. I like how we respect the patron as well. Also boasts, according to the Guinness Book of Records, the world's largest covered wagon. But it does seat, as you can see, Abraham Lincoln. And it keeps up the tradition in Illinois of having just really big things. It once okay. had the world's largest skyscraper. It has the biggest ketchup bottle, the biggest pencil, the biggest, the biggest president, and Robert Wadlow. <laughs> It's 
Springfield, Simpsons. Home of the Simpsons. A lot of Lincoln based stuff, which makes oh, sense. You can doesn't meet it? him. Pardon? You can meet him. There you go. Maybe one day you'll meet Lincoln. Mm. Is Maybe. that his family, I'm guessing then? I'm guessing so. Yeah. I think so. Is that your house? Wow, if it is, that's cool. That is very cool if it is. I'm guessing that's his actual tomb as well, which is pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Mm. That's sick, isn't it? That is sick. Do you like driving with me? I mean, am I a good navigator? You're not a good navigator, but I do <laughs> like driving navigator. with you. Good, so I do keep you entertained at the very least. I guess so. That wasn't a hard yes. <laughs> I was hoping for a harder yes than that. <laughs> be nice, though. So, nice. don't respect the honesty. It's a long journey. Illinois. Maybe they just did Illinois. Yeah, I think they did. Shell. Nice. Is sure well, with it? Okay. My thinking is that this is our test run, and then once things just get a bit more, you know, normal again in life, we'll do the whole route. There you go, during COVID times as well, so you couldn't really go state to state, could it? No. But I respect them getting out, enjoying yeah. fresh air. Maybe. Maybe. That again, that's not right a hard yes. Yeah. I don't love the idea of being the only person that drives the entire route. Well, I mean, I could do half of it. Except you need a driver's license. Yeah, that is true. I mean, I don't want to break the law, but He's not I, could, I mean, I can pretend to do it. You know how in Hook they pretend to throw food at each other? Just imagine that I've driven half of it and that'll take some of the burden off you. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> you know, looking back on our journey across much of Illinois Route 66, I think it's fair to say we had a fantastic time and you can tell that because I am smiling on the inside. I felt a profound burst of relief, and not just at the rest stop, at not only having left my house, but the city too. It was a joy to see other parts of Illinois and to confirm that, like Indiana, the state is mainly composed of farmland and self-storage units. But in between all that, Illinois is packed with hidden gems. It seems that The best way. part is, I haven't even come close to seeing them all. But I think my favourite part of this entire trek was looking for 16th US President and Top Hat influencer Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Top and hat he did a pretty influencer. terrible job of of hiding because he was everywhere but it was really emotional going through that museum and to see the place that he lived in Springfield and also his final resting place so if you do get to go to Springfield maybe prioritize the Lincoln Museum his house which was closed due to COVID-19 his tomb and the Lincoln New Salem State Park which I'm told is amazing we didn't get to go because oh, okay. we ran out of time and finally it was moving literally to drive along America's mother road, Route 66. And though we didn't come close to traversing the entire length of it, it was amazing to get a loose sense of how Americans might have traveled on this road between the 1920s when it was first built and the 1980s when it was removed Long from time the list ago. Of highways. But I'll leave you now with a warning. Traveling along Route 66 does come with a lot of people who are trying to sell you merchandise. Every little museum will have you exit through the gift shop. It's just expensive, mm. tacky yes. rubbish, and my money stayed in my... That's just common common practice, isn't it? Yeah. Especially if you've got kids. They're the on kids you. kids' rides always. Yeah, they're on you. We'll have you exit through the gift shop. It's just expensive, tacky rubbish, and my money stayed in my wallet. Hey, where do you want this Route 66 sign? <laughs> I don't want that. I do want that. Uh, I'll probably... I'll put it on the wall. Hey, I really like your shirt. It looks good. <laughs> the shirt. <laughs> Oh, that is the end of the video. Shout out to Lance. Yeah, it was a good well, video. A good video, as always. A little bit challenging. I was a bit... It is normally, if we know the video is going to have a lot of music stuff out, we, we plan for that mm -hmm. and we, we sort it out before. But it's late. We did that 20-minute mm -hmm. video, which you guys will never, ever see. Never, ever never see. see. And, never, uh, ever see. never, ever see. And it's late and we want to get a video out for you. So I kind of just did it on the sly as well. to try to me a little bit. But you had your full reaction and you did get my reaction as well. I want to see them do the full. Yeah, maybe one day we'll do the full. It, looks, it seems like such a cool road trip. 
It does. Even to break it up in states, because like I didn't know Illinois had so much in just in the state. Interesting, in Illinois, yeah, especially about Lincoln and stuff mm. like that as well. Smash that button if, if you enjoy, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well. You absolute legends. We watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.